Thank you, Mr. Speaker. A 2015 review in the Archives of Disease in Childhood found that between 5 and 7 percent of kids engage in the choking game, often alone. Many kids are aware of the practice, and 17 to 40 percent of youth think there are no risks. Very sadly, 93 percent of parents of choking game victims are surprised to discover their child's participation because it often leaves no observable signs. To the Minister of Health, how are you equipping Alberta health care providers to recognize the signs and educate people about the choking game? The Honourable Minister of Health. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to the member for her question, and certainly want to recognize the family uh, that's here today, and uh, I couldn't imagine the grief that must be experienced when you say goodbye to a child. Uh, no parent should ever have to go through that, Mr. Speaker, and certainly uh, one of the big pieces we need to do is ensure that everyone is aware that self-harm is risky, that there are consequences that come with self-harm, and whether it leaves bruises or not, it doesn't mean that you're doing something that's safe. So, Mr. Speaker, certainly uh, education to uh, youth, to families, and to health care providers, it's a three-pronged approach but again our deepest sympathies to the family for supplemental there's much awareness of and concerningly high participation rates in the choking game among youth aged 4 to 20 they are learning about the choking game from online sources and from their peers to the minister of education when will the provincial health curriculum include information about the risks of the choking game throughout our children's education the Honourable Minister of Education. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and thanks to the member for the uh, question. And certainly, we've been looking through the curriculum as part of our new curriculum uh, writing process for places where we can improve and uh, strengthen uh, personal safety. And certainly, um, this specific uh, behaviour, and in general, um, does uh, take place <clears throat> in the kindergarten to grade nine uh, health uh, program now, but I think it uh, bears upon all of us to be responsible to strengthen that position and to remind ourselves on a regular basis about both the gravity of the situation and, uh, and the fact that there are st uh, students that are engaging in this kind of behavior. <clears throat> Second supplemental. It's hard to develop strategies to address the choking game without good data, and there's a lack of consistent reporting about choking game deaths. Deaths are often recorded as suicide, leaving families without closure for their children's death, and it means a lack of accurate data. To the Minister of Justice, what will you do to improve the way child deaths are recorded so that we can know how many kids die this way and so their families can have a little peace in very distressing circumstances? The Honourable Minister of Justice and Solicitor General. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and to the member again for the important question. Um, the member is correct. It is very difficult to move these uh, items forward without um, ensuring that we're collecting accurate data. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I've been very lucky to work with our current uh, Chief Medical Examiner to ensure accuracy of data collection in a number of areas. Uh, and Mr. Speaker, I'll be happy to have those, those conversations and follow up offline with the member.